right, we are live and we are here to talk about James Ward-Prowse and whether or not he'd still be in contest for the next three games if Jorginho wasn't so rubbish. All right, hello and welcome to the Matchday Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please, please, gosh, <laughs> please wow, he remember means it. To, he really means it. I really mean it this time. Uh, please remember to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit like because it really does, really does make a difference to the channel. How are we all doing this evening? Are we keeping well? How are you doing, Jack? Yeah, mate. I'm not, not too bad. Today was my first uh, Wednesday off. I've, Wednesday I've off? Switch my day, I've had to switch days from Mondays to Wednesdays. So Monday, Ooh. I was the most miserable man you've ever met in your life. Um, <laughs> I don't like working Mondays. It sucks. Would but you today normally have nice. that off? Yeah, and you used, used, to be a, used, used to be a Sunday Monday guy, but now I'm a Sunday Wednesday, and whew, it's it's going to take some time. It's going to take, take some time. I'm that I'm sure. I, I didn't have the day off, but I you could have done some of the the, the admin work for this show. I, I I wish I knew that. I could have said anyway. Welcome to everyone in the chat section. As always, please let us know where you're watching the show from. It's always interesting for us to see. Uh, slap that in the chat section if you're watching us live or in the comment section if you're watching us on replay. We are here to talk about ugh, the big elephant in the room. There was an actual elephant in the room last week's show, but now there is a, a big, big subject, and that is the subject of James Will Prowse. And he is going to be out for three <clears throat> games now this this comes off the back of a loss at Stamford Bridge um, the game for those of you that watched it at the stadium or watched it on wherever um, it, I in my opinion it was a okay performance lacked the killer edge in the final third um, seemed to be a bit of a uh, you know a running theme that we have in, in the final few games um, but uh, all in all, some decent performances. Livermanto looked very, very good, enough to make a lot of the Chelsea fans think, why on earth did we sell him for five million quid? Um, and, you know, some other standout performances. I thought Romeo had quite a good game as well. So, um, and Alex McCarthy had an amazing game. Yeah. Um, some outstanding saves. So, um, got to give it to him, got to give it to him. You know, we okay, we'll come down hard on him when going bad, but it's been it's been all right for him recently. No, no howlers and some absolute worldy saves. You know, that last that I mean, that their, their, their last goal, mm -hmm. how it went in, how it went in. I know, right? I still, I still refuse to believe it went in. I thought it was, it was the like best a, save I've ever seen. It was like a uh, sort of like a FIFA goal in the sense that you know, it's like smashing all over the place, and then suddenly. It went over by a goal line decision, but all in all, I thought Chelsea were deserved winners. If I, I gotta be honest, you know they 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 looked pretty frightening in the first half. Um, disappointing for us to concede the way we did the first goal. Um, kind of looked like uh, we, we went to sleep at the back a bit there. You know, left uh, Shelabar at the back post just to head in a simple goal, um, but held off Chelsea for a large part of the game. The, yeah. the big chat of the game really was the fact that Mike Dean just really wanted to be there. And um, I have to say, I think the goal that was ruled ruled out, I thought was harsh. And when I watched it live, yeah. I thought, are we really giving the foul for that? Because there was quite a lot. So because when, when they were originally playing it back, I was thinking, oh, that's for Lukaku just landing on, I can't remember who it was, whether it was Benrek or someone literally just landed on top of them and said, maybe he's, he's, he's giving it for that. But for what they actually gave it for, I was like, hmm. And, mm. of course, that then had a knock-on effect to the, the Prousey decision. And the big factor is it wasn't a clear and obvious error. And that, and, and I think that's that's the thing on both those accounts. Like, the foul for the Chelsea disallowed goal wasn't a clear and obvious error. And I think the foul on Jorginho wasn't a clear and obvious error. Nor was it... It was a reckless challenge. Was it dangerous though? So, I don't know. I, I, I everything about when I look at it, I think, and especially some red cards that I've seen given recently, like the one against Juan Bazaka in the Champions League, mm -hmm. and yeah, I feel like there has to be a consistency to that rule. So I understand why it was a red, but you think you're right. I don't understand why it was overturned, but, and also where it was on the pitch. If that would happened on the other end of the pitch, going into our goal, absolutely, like yeah, you can't knock it. But the fact that it was down the other end. 
right. he was playing for the it, there was a lot of things about it that make that you know it it sh- should have been left a yellow okay if you if it had been a, a straight red mm-hmm. maybe we'd be here going oh actually yeah, fair play but the fact that it was we, we should have probably gone away with it but then again that's the thing we're saying is we probably should have gotten away with that but we didn't <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and and actually watching the rest of the game um i think the the foul that um Gineppo made uh yeah was just as bad and i looked at that thinking like surely they're going to give that as a red if they're going to give the proud c1 on Jorginho red then he's got to go for that as well so it's a real confusing thing really and, and i just think that mike dean was a bit nitpicky on what he was looking at um so there we go there we go but of course that now leaves us with a massive hole in our centre midfield, so we are we are here this evening to talk about uh, what will be uh, a predicted lineup without Prowse in the mix. You know, will we see um, some movements of the uh, the players in the listings? Um, will we see um, you know Stuart Armstrong come back into the frame? Um, I mean, do, who do you see sort of fill in that role? Because we kind of kind of don't really have anyone like Prowse in the side, do we? I think it'll probably be Diallo. You reckon? Yeah, I think he can. He probably will slot straight in. The other thing that I think the more likely option is it'll be Diallo, and he'll just play slightly in front of Romeo. But will Smallbone mate? Yeah, yeah. Will Smallbone's back, and Smallbone. I wouldn't be surprised if in one of those three games you see Smallbone start in that position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Ralph said he wants to give him time. I think he did. He played a right against Fulham for the bees the other night, didn't he? So, yeah, look good, look good. I feel like maybe maybe we might see Will Smallbone come in, but in reality, Diallo would probably be the man to replace it. But Diallo's been great so far this season. I think he's. I think it's time you put him on the back of your shirt. Really, <laughs> he's not quite got that brace just yet. I mean, um... you saw him put the ball in the net twice, so I don't know what more you want me to say. <laughs> Uh, David Baker here already saying, don't worry about James Ward Prowse, we've got Diallo. Exactly. Diallo has has been an improved player this season, I, I will admit, absolutely. Um, and, you know, of course we have Will Smallbone uh, back in the mix, you know, I'm not sure. Did he play a full game for the reserves? I think so. I can't quite, can't, I'm not sure. Okay. You, have, you, have, you have to check Hampshire Live. Hampshire Live. All right, I'll check that out. But, you know, that does leave us with some options. So, Without further ado, let's jump into it. And there's, uh, in fact, what I probably should have done is put the rest of the squad in. Um, for let's mm. let's imagine that we're lining because, of course, he's going to be out for Leeds, Burnley, two home games, two massive home games. Of course, we are yet to get a win just yet, and away in the Carabao Cup. Um, so it means he will be back for the away fixture against Watford on the thirtieth of October. I forgot what month we were in just then. This year, man. Whew, how fast is this? Just going by, it? Yeah. Shooting by. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> good to see Prowse using some Saints play. Do you know what I thought yeah. when I saw that image? I thought someone's been at the stationary cupboard. Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so, where did he get those? Where did he get those? He's been nicking all the sellotape and pencil sharpeners and <laughs> in the club shop, getting whatever he wants. That's one of the perks of playing for the club, I guess. You get to go in the club shop and just get wherever you want. You Trolley dash hands. every day. Exactly. But it's it's good to see. And, of course, you know, Prowse has got his call up, which we're all great. I was wondering, actually, if he plays in these two fixtures for England, does that mean they count as games? I'm sure that's how it works. I mean, I'm yeah. absolutely sure that's how it works. Yeah. If he plays really good and doesn't get a yellow card, then he's shown good behaviour and the two get I'm being silly now. I know. It's, know. you know... It's annoying. It's 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 good, really, because when when he got the red, a part of me went for. I, I have been thinking recently, maybe he needs a bit of a rest. Mm-hmm. He's looking a bit bit dug in. Maybe you know the, the start of the season didn't kick onto it. But the really annoying thing is against Chelsea, he was looking like he was looking really good <laughs> mm-hmm. up until that red card. He looked so good. Yeah, he looked the normal ways. Chelsea still so thought you know it'd be good for him to uh, you know you know he need to kick on. So having the England games now means he, you know, he'll have a bit of a rest. Mm-hmm. But in reality, he has spent some time playing with some really good players. Yeah, you know, you remember how you remember how he was when he came back from the England camp last time when he was just booting the booting goals away during practice and everybody was like, "Oh, Bosa, you're the best, mate." Yeah, like 
it really upped his tempo. So I actually think a little bit of a break, but you know, a jog out with the England team will probably do him wonders. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, it, it does mean that we actually get to see because I always think like, is our club, is our team built around Prowse? You know, now that Danny's not here. It, are we looking at a Southampton side that's effectively built around James Ward Prowse? And then what does that mean? So, be interesting to see. It really would. It's going to be scary. <laughs> so, let's have a look at this line. I'm going to move this. Actually, can you still see that banner there? If I put that there, if I move that there. There you go. There you go. You can all see it now. Hey, what do you think of the background tonight? I've gone for a, like, a night like, at St. Mary's. I like it, man. You know, it's midweek under the lights here. We're doing, we're doing some good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right, me and Jack are going to be going through our particular line. Let's imagine we're playing Leeds and yep. now we're going to set up against mm-hmm. Leeds. If anyone's got any ideas in the chat section, let us know. Stick it in there. Um, uh, McCarthy is an absolute given. Um, and sorry, squeaky door in the office there. Um, and let's have a look at the back three. It's likely to be Bednarek uh, with the likes of Stevens out until December. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that is that, that is the uh, that is the rumor that I have heard, which isn't great, but you know, just getting back. Cornish Maldini, we need him. Title fight still on. We do, we do absolutely. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, I was thinking that if he was gone till November, there'd be that song, wouldn't it? We could do like something, but it'd be gone till November. Here you go. Exactly. I mean, we we can. I'm sure we can. Yeah. You want to get that start? Christmas. Well, let's get that started in the, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the fan zone, dear. Do you reckon we'll be able to get that pumping in the itching? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Something to do with um, uh, Prow- uh, not Prowsey, Stevens coming in for Christmas. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. Um... He's Stevens is coming home for Christmas. <laughs> I love Chris Rea, me. Absolutely. Is that the greatest Christmas song? Anyway, let's, let's, I'm just putting in what I think is an absolute definite. Um, God, and that's basically it, really, isn't it? Because uh, the rest. So let's have a chat well, about the uh, what's well, effectively number seven. Well, let let let's just stick in the rest. So here we go. What are we going to go? Peru. Okay, I'm saying go? Peru. I like what you're thinking. That's exactly what I thought. That's not how you spell it. Spelling is hard. That might be wrong. Also, <laughs> I think it is. Uh, Chat section, going. give us the spelling. Good say, is, is it one R? Oh, it's never good at French. Le prêt en mange. That's all I could do. Kind of it's wrong, isn't it? Somebody will tell us. We can go back. Somebody tell us how do you spell Roman Peru? Just the, the last bit will be fine. So you're going for a Carl Walker Peters there, uh, yeah? Can we not have a Livermento? What's wrong, please? You can. I'm just wondering if you want to put Livermento up here. You know I do, but um, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. That's what we think is going to happen. So, I wish. I wish that would happen. That was, that'd be, I, would, I would love for that to happen. Timo. But, um, Timo. But yeah, no, no, maybe. You now you got me thinking. Walcott, eh? Straight I don't back agree in. With it. I don't agree with it, but I think that's what would happen. Teller. Right. I wasn't, I wasn't going to type Teller, but I'm going to type you're, in You're going to type Gineppo, were you? Yeah. Uh, Go for it. Look at him. He knows he's talking about. All right. However, so... I, I, will, I will throw out some, uh, a curveball line up for you in, in a second as well. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll oh, see how okay. this goes. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um, so, who are we thinking? I think it's going to be Diallo. On the weekend, I honestly think it's going to be Diallo. Would you have another holding player, though, against... I, mean, well, I don't I think he... He's... I think he will play more just your, your, your standard mid-roll. We will play slightly more attacking. Right. But, you know, is is, is, is Stu fit? Is Stewie fit? He was back in training, and he was um, able to be announced in the Scottish squad. So, supposedly, yes. If that's the case, then I probably would think Armstrong will start there. Nice. Okay. Armstrong. Which, you know, wouldn't hate it. Wouldn't hate it. No, we wouldn't hate that at all. So if that was that was your mix, so again, 
just for everyone's reference, we are talking about the Leeds game and how we think we're going to line up in that. How is that? How you'd see the team line up? Are we, do you make any changes to that, Jack? That's probably how I would see it. That's how I think he's going to start it. And I, I do think there's a case for Redmond maybe starting over Walcott. But recently, I quite, I quite like Redmond coming on slightly later in the game. He seems to make a bit of a difference when he comes on rather than when he's on the entire game. <laughs> I think there would just yeah. be there'd be too, yeah just too much of it. Just too just too much of losing the ball, stray passes. Whereas if he can get on the, in the in the last thirty minutes, mm-hmm. he can he tends to sort of bring something out. Yeah. But would you like a slightly more bonkers lineup? Go for it. Hit right, me. put it right, Hit put it in it. put it in the four one four, my friend. Oh here we go. Here we go. Four one four. Who are you leaving up top? I'm gonna put Armstrong up top. Okay. Which one? <laughs> but uh we'll change uh Adams for Teller. Okay. Oh, and then okay. uh I guess Adams for Gineppo. Okay, yeah. Where am I typing? What have I done? I didn't do anything, did I? No. Sorry. Jennifer. And then, okay. p- then probably walk up for uh, Redmond for walk up. Okay. No, Elianisi. No. Good. Because I have difficulty spelling the name. How would you feel about that? I don't hate that. I think um, I think we're missing a trick on this right side. I think if we're going to do something radical, well, right, yeah, screw it. Put, put, put you know, put, yeah, put, 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 you know, Kyle Walker Peters in. Swap, swap, put, yeah, that's it. That's it. Go for it. Because I, I think um, Redmond gets a, he gets a hard time. Um, sometimes rightly so. Um, but you know the game against Newcastle, he created both the goals, really, didn't he? Um, yeah, exactly. So it's a real difficult one. But I think what the problem happens is when he comes on as a sub and he tries to do too much and get involved at the back as well as at the front, and then just nothing tends to happen. So um, which you can't really fault him for, really, in certain cases, because you know he's probably like us fans thinking, like, oh, flip net, come on, let's just get a goal and uh, make it happen. Okay, that's interesting. You can't say that that's not an interesting team. Mm. Well, there have been comments this week from the under-21s England camp where they were saying, don't pigeonhole Timo uh, Livramento to be just a right back. So there were sort of comments to say, you know, he should be playing further up the pitch as well. So is, is Ralph made any comments about that? Direct or indirect? Nothing that I've know? really read. I think, I think he's just trying, just trying to keep Liverpool, or you know, his feet on the ground. I think more than anything. I think the, the worst thing that can happen is everyone starts saying, "Oh, you're playing further up," or you know, Chelsea want to sign him back. You know, you, you want to keep him sort of landed so he can progress with his game and become a, a, a you know, a, a complete fullback before we, you know, they do start venturing him into other zones. Mm-hmm. You know, he's still what is he? 18? How old, is, how old is he? Uh, who? who? Tell um, um, Timo. Oh, oh, Timo. Yeah, no, he's very young. 18, yeah. So, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be giving him sort of like too much at what, too much at once. Mm-hmm. So, I think, so as much as I, you know, I think experiment with this on, on the side here, but I absolutely understand why Ralph doesn't want to be like, yeah, put him up forward. He's the star man. He's the, he's the boy. Which he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, Liam's jumped in here. 18. He's 18. 18. Hey, all right, Liam. Uh, Adrian, you're out of focus on YouTube. Am I? Are we? Are we? Let you're out know. of order on Facebook, mate. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Adrian's watching on Facebook and we're out, out of focus on YouTube. I don't know. I'll check that somehow. Don't know how I'm going to do that. Let us know. Um a few comments here about what about Simu? Does he have enough to break into the first team and play a back five? Would we see a back five against a side like Leeds and Burnley? I think the Leeds game is going to be the tricky one, but Leeds haven't been scoring loads of goals, so which is a worry because normally when a team's not been scoring loads of goals, mentioning their names, Wolves. Um, they start scoring goals against us, which is uh, yeah. most 
most annoying, so I'm not going to say anything that's going to be super um, slanderous on that. So we, we shall see. Um, but in regards to Simeu and players like Lianco, uh, players like Thierry Small, uh, which effectively Thierry Small was brought in from Everton to get more game time as a backup for Roman Peru. And Roman Peru can't get on the pitch at Southampton at the moment. So, yeah, it's a strange one. It's a strange one. But do you think he's going to go 4-1-4 against Leeds? Um, I don't know. I I doubt it. I doubt it would be just what we normally see in the 4-2-2-2. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I, it's What I do like is that Ralph recently has been making changes. Like... It, when you know coming on second half against uh, Chelsea, he made changes and dropped dropped Romeo back. Mm -hmm. You know when Prowse went off, like, you know he, he sort of tried to he handled it, but okay, maybe he should have made it a bit simpler and gone back to what we all know. But it's yep. it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to see what what we're doing because again, I still don't know what our best what's the best eleven look like. <laughs> I know, I know, and, and how many times did we have you know this conversation back in the in the dark days of that hideous home kit? At the start of the season where we just we just did not know what the starting eleven was going to be and, and we are in that difficult situation now where we can't tell you who's going to be on the left wing on a Saturday afternoon yeah. um and likewise on the right wing um so bit of a difficult time really um do uh hmm. are we gonna are we gonna talk about the people who say Ralph out or how we feel <laughs> <laughs> well I just see this pop up um Eddie Howe with a, with a Santa Claus hat. Do you know what? I, I think Ralph is about to end. Let me um take this take this off in a moment. So you see our faces. Um, Ralph is entering a period where he's got to get a win out of the next five fixtures. Out of the next three fixtures, I think. And yeah. the, this game against Leeds, massive. This game against Burnley is massive. But they're tricky games. You know, these yeah. are... These are clubs that will be there for the taking, but that also makes them very dangerous because we tend to do a bit better against those clubs that really come out and attack us rather than those clubs that are a bit crafty and sort of, you know, ca catch us on the counter attack. So I'm, I'm nervous if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah it's getting to the point. Um, I've got, I've got, I've not lost faith in Ralph, but when you do look at it, and was it four wins in twenty twenty one? It's, it's getting bad. hard. It's getting hard, isn't it, mate? It's getting hard to defend it, and it's such a shame because everything that I like, everything that's there, and I like everything that's set up, I like everything we're doing. I just wish it would work. Mm. <laughs> I just yep. want it to work. And he's had the team for so long now, and you can't say he doesn't have a squad. You know, it, it, he's got. There's everything there for us to be doing better. Yeah, but it is. But right now, you look at it and you think it is down to certain players on the pitch, not 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 creating and not finishing chances. So is that that's not Ralph then, is it? It's not. It's not Ralph. But unfortunately, he'll be the one that takes the brunt of it. Mm. Yeah, I know. No, but, is that what you mean? But it's going to get. I think it'll get to a point where in January we may either see one person leave or somebody come in. In the sense where Ralph might have to go, or. Mm -hmm. They might double down a bit and be like, "Okay, let's try and get D. Vokarigi for the rest of the year." Mm. Because like we a, need, just we need goal goals. Score. We just need need people who can score goals. And you know, he's that he's still at Liverpool. We, they wanted him out yep. in the summer. Yeah, you know, maybe alone for the rest of the season. Not a bad place to go, or even you know, on a permanent. Because you know, it, you know, Armstrong's just not cutting it yet, is he? He's just not. But you saw that goal against Everton on the opening game of the season, and. The way he finished that goal, insane. The and way him and Shea did it, like the way the close, the way they close under the defender, pinched the ball back, got him on the break. You see that, and you think that's what we need more of, and they haven't done it again since. Yeah, yeah, and it and it is a worry um, because effectively everyone was kind of writing us off at the beginning of the season, saying, "Oh, you've got championship strikers, you're not going to get anything from that," and the last few fixtures have shown it exactly that. But the mad thing is, every single shot we saw against Wolves, against West Ham, against well, against Chelsea, you know, uh, the weekend past, it's it's all literally kind of like straight at the goalkeeper and sort of 
you know, half efforts that kind of just looked like they never properly connected with the ball. So you you think like literally just striking practice. It's just going to have yeah. to be that. I mean, Ralph has already sort of uh, cancelled the holiday for everyone in this international break. Um, I think the the he was basically sort of saying if you could uh, avoid defeat against all these clubs we, we just played, then uh, you could have a week off or something like that. But um, of course, that didn't happen, and, and here we are. But you, you, the other side of it, you look at the like that we haven't lost to Man United at home. We yeah. went to the Etihad and we didn't concede a single goal. And it, that it's stuff like that. You're thinking like it's one way or the other, isn't it? I mean, you go up to Manchester, you things happen, but then we went up this time against a city side that was free scoring, albeit without a striker on the pitch, and don't concede a single goal. So it's really tricky to judge that. Really, in my mind, Mike, it's reminding me a lot of. Uh... A recent episode of Ted Lasso, that I'm sure everybody's watched, where he said it's not about win or losing, it's how you play the game, and Coach Beard disagrees. At a certain point, it's about winning. And I'm not, I'm nowhere near the Ralph Out brigade, but oh, we need to win. <laughs> oh, we need to win. We do, we do. Um, comment here from Mark as well. Service to the front two has been poor in fairness. Absolutely right. That's fair. That's a fair comment. It's not. Yeah, you're not. You're not wrong. There's, there's not. You know, the service has has been lacking. It's been lacking from everyone. But that's what I mean. There needs to be that that finishing last ball goes to everyone. Yeah. But, but at the same time, when we weren't creating chances for people last season, Danny still got goals. I'm just. Mm. You know, I know, and I know. You know, that's Danny Ings. But who? Who? Is yeah, that? I know. Who? I, yeah. Who? 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 But. You know, you need you need that out of your Premier League strikers. Darren, who? Darren, Darren, Darren Mings. You know, we need we need Shade to be doing that stuff. We need we need I'm sure to be doing that, and then we need Brozier to when he comes on at 30 minutes, understand. Okay, we need a goal now. So, and you need you need to prove prove yourself in the starting eleven. So, yeah, let's go. But that's that's the other side of it because I'm looking at a player like Brozier. I'm thinking like if we had. A different sort of management style, Brozier might be able to get more space and bang them in. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just by the way, it frees up space at the front, and there's more space to because we playing this high press game. There's no room for anything to be worked out, and you know the the games that we saw uh, recently where where basically Armstrong and Adams are sort of crowded out by these huge towering centre backs without any space to run into. So. <sighs> It's tricky. It's hard, mate. It's a hard life right now. It is. But do you know what? I think Stu, Stu, now that Stu's coming back into the squad and once, you know, Ward Prowse gets back in, it's just annoying that it's all over the place. But I think Stu will make a big difference this weekend if he is back. I'm pretty sure he's back. I'm pretty sure I saw an article yep. saying he was, should definitely be playing. That'd be absolutely grand. Um, coming here from Adrian Ings did little last season. He did. He only scored 13 goals. I think I'm talking the closing down the goalkeeper, Danny Ings. I'm talking, you know, decent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, those ones where he basically sort of charges down the keeper and uh, sits down, which which our uh, strikers have been doing. Um, the the press has, has definitely been there. But no, we shall see. We shall see. But you know. But looking at those three games that we got coming up, what are you thinking? Leeds and Burnley. Uh, ideally, six points. Really, we need six points out of it. I think we can win, but we can lose as well. That's the thing. Here's the, here's, here's the thing. What I want, six. What yeah. we'll probably get, four. What we we'll definitely will get, two. Wow. You definitely think we're going to get two, two points in that? I think, I think it'll be draws, and I think... <sighs> I think it, I think it'll be like this. I think it would just be very tough for us to just be sat there going, we could have gotten something out of it, but at least we didn't get, at least we didn't lose. You know, I think yeah. it might get to, I think it might get to a point <laughs> until, yeah. until it finally clicks. But the mad thing about this part of the season is like, you know, we haven't lost as many games as other clubs have. It's just we haven't won a game. Yeah. And really, if you get, I mean, look at Wolves. I mean. It, two back-to-back wins and then suddenly they're laughing 
it's you know that's the, that's the crazy thing about it and you know i mean if we get two back to back wins we're on 10 points yeah so which is what you want it, by christmas really it, yeah at least so <laughs> I know what it is. It's that same thing as every year, mate. I'm sure it will level out a little bit and ease up, but we just need to get through this part. Or just like a season to start where we don't have this part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I want a comment here from Mark Armstrong being back what may help. Uh, he can pick out a good pass. Yeah, he's creative. He can score a goal or two as well. So Exactly. Um, that'd be good to see him. I, I mean, I think we might see Armstrong just literally slip into the Prowse role in centre mid alongside um Romeo. He, that's if if Armstrong's fit, that's where I see him starting. Because remember those games where he literally played in the centre with Prowse. They look great. Look really, really good. So that's that's who I think is gonna be replacing spoiler alert after thirty one minutes of chat, that's what I think we we'll, we will see. Um Tom it, I can see two draws two uh, Kellen saying we need to beat Burnley. Oh my goodness, yes we do. Ethan could see us losing to Watford. To be honest, Joe, you know I tried to get tickets for Watford, sold out pretty quick. Caught me out that one. Well, you know, well, you know, now that they're definitely going to win the league with the Tinker Man, <laughs> going to do a Leicester. It's going to be amazing. I can't believe that. Can't you know what's funny? That. The other day that I was, we were, I was talking to Ian and um, I can't. What, what manager we were talking about? I think we were talking about. We were talking about the Wolves guy. We're like, oh, he'll probably be first to go. I was like, nah, it'll yeah, be Watford. Nah, it'll be Watford. And then we were talking about, yeah, and then we were talking about Nuno at Spurs and be like, he'll probably be the first to go. And I was like, nah, I still think it'd be Watford. Oh, no, Watford are doing all right, aren't they? Yeah, to be fair, they are. And then next day, blap. <laughs> See you later, pal. Yeah. Well, that's the mad thing about Watford, really. It's I think it's they just sort of have this aspiration that they're a, somehow a European football club. And. <sighs> Well, they've had a pretty good start to the season and, and already done that to their, their, mas- their manager, really. I can't help but feel they saw us when we came up and saw us get rid of Atkins and they were like, that was a stroke of genius. They got a, they got Poch. That's so smart. We do that. We can do that. And then every time they're like, right, that wasn't Poch. Get the, the next one. The next one will be Poch. <laughs> Ranieri, he's won it. Come on. Exactly that. Exactly. They can be unpopular decisions and work out very well, and they can go very, very badly. Like Ranieri when he went to Fulham. That didn't last long, did it? That was good, wasn't it? That was good I'm, stuff. I remember when that, that appointment was made. It's just a case of, like, uh, oh, God, we should have got him. I can't believe we missed out on him. We should have sat Hughes sooner and got him, and it didn't work out. But there we go. There we go. Yeah, um, we've got, when Watford fire him in two months, he might come here. <laughs> You're generally worried for Ralph, aren't you? I am. Yeah, me too. I am very worried for him. Me too. Um, coming here from Lordo Benny. It's a funny name. Uh, Leeds looking dodgy so far this season. Yep. They're, they're hardly high flying. I'm kind of hoping we might be able to do a preview with all Leeds TV because I'm really interested to know what they think of the start of their season. Yeah. Um, because, you know, they've conceded um, quite a few goals as well. So um, I'm sure they're not Bielsa out. Never. They exactly. never would be. Can you imagine? Be, you know, you just could, you, you couldn't, you couldn't, I don't think you'd be able to get, move, I don't think you can move his stool anymore. I think his stool was permanently in the ground. So it'd be, <laughs> just can't do it. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, but yeah, I think it, it is, it is the difficult decision that the board's going to have to make if we don't see a win. Uh, from the next few fixtures that are coming up, um, but we have seen some decent football, haven't we? Oh yeah, yeah. There's been, there's been, there's been moments. Yeah, it's just not just enough a, of them. Just a shame there isn't that final killer piece. Just goals, mate. It's it's goals. It's, it's all the annoying thing is, is that during the summer transfer window, you know, I thought we had a really great run, and I still believe we did. And everyone Agreed. was like, "Not gonna, re- not gonna replace Danny." And I said, like, "You know, those goals will pop up from ev- from other places." And I still, and again, I still think they will. But it's just, come on, boys, that, let's not prove people right. Like, we don't need him. There is goals in this squad. Mm-hmm. They've just got to start coming. They've just got to start yeah. coming. Theo Walk, yeah. Theo Walk, a hat trick on the weekend. It's coming next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Got a boring international break to contend with. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we can just hope to see some Prowsey football. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that, yeah. That it. I, I mean, do you think Prowse has had a good start to the season? No. No. I think the Chelsea have. game, until we had a red card, he was his best game so far this season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, you know, the fact, I, the, and it's all like, he's he's not been creative enough in midfield and the set piece is like, have, have we scored from a set piece yet? No, no. Like, the, co- the corners have been awful. They've Absolutely been terrible. Awful. Yeah. They've been, yeah, yeah the, the corners have been, been been woeful. Like, and I get that, okay, you, you don't have Vestergaard there to aim for anymore, but we all know Bednarak can head it in. We all know Stevens could, and we all know that, you know, you know look at Seattle, Salas who scored his first one. So there are, there are, you know, people that get to get their head in there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, get, just, I'm going live on the TikTok as well, and I've got a question here: Thierry Small impressed or not? We haven't seen him. We haven't seen him, so we don't know. Don't no, know. Um, no, not really. And I try to keep one eye on the on the bees, and uh, that doesn't seem to be going also also well. Yeah. That's why I'm keeping another a, a, another eye on the women's because they are doing relatively well. They're doing good. Yeah. Oh, they are doing very well. Absolutely. Um, doing very well. Been trying to see if I can get down and watch one of those games. Actually, see what it's like to score goals. Um, congrats to them. And uh, I'd be so behind it, so behind it if they started doing double headers. So it'd be a three o'clock kickoff for the for the men's and then the women's. Uh, that'd be great. Yeah, I just said the women's first, so we're in a good mood and we don't worry about the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got a comment here on on the TikTok uh, from Livramento. The well, I don't know. It's just. Livermento. Uh, <laughs> the amusing thing is, um, I think we should play four three three. He's in favour of it, so he wants He's to play higher up the pitch. Maybe when James Ward Prowse is back, we saw towards the back end of the Chelsea game. Oh, okay. So he thinks we should play the way we played against uh, the the final few minutes against Chelsea, where we conceded two goals. Um, but they were good goals from Chelsea, to be fair. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, we we, sh- we shut Lukaku out of the game. The fact that Timo Werner was the yeah. one that had had the score, you know, and he had to score twice before he can score. So you know, yeah, it, 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 there were positives to be taken out of the game. And I honestly think if Wal Prowse stayed on the pitch, that hadn't happened. You know, if, he, if let's say he made that challenge clean and he won the ball, mm-hmm. we would have been through on goal. Where it went in, who knows? And I, I think we probably would have gotten a point out of that game. Yeah, agreed. But at the yeah. same time, it's a game where we all thought we weren't going to win it anyway. Just the annoying thing is we've lost and we've lost Ward Prowse. So it's it's a, it's a it's a bitter one to take. Yeah. No, it's a massively bitter one to take. Um, yeah. No, it's a tricky one. And I, and, I, and I think also you're absolutely right in the sense that, you know, we shut out Lukaku. But also until the weekend's game, Timo Werner scored. Uh, no, Alisson, the goalkeeper from... Liverpool had scored just as many goals as Timo Werner had did in the last, I think, twelve to eighteen months or something like that. Something it's not great. I think. Stat. I think. I think. I think the stat is he's got seven goals in the Premier League and three of them are against us. Who? T- who Werner. Yeah. Yeah. So. <sighs> bigger goals at Southampton, aren't they? <laughs> not, 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 not both ends every half, but one end every half. So. Yeah. No, it's kind of kind of tricky, really. But there we go. There we go. Oh, we, we've been chatting 40 minutes here. Have you got any more final thoughts on who... Because I said that I think Armstrong, Stuart Armstrong, is going to literally just slip into Mr. Prousey role. Is that who you see? Or who, you got another name? I still think it'll probably be Diallo and then and, and, and Armstrong will start on the wing. I oh, and do like a, a, a four... Four yeah. one four, yeah. Okay, but you know, who knows? I'm sure. I'm sure Ralph will surprise us all <laughs> and start Ellie and Lucy in the middle. We have no idea what he's going to do. You so, just best wear that goddamn waistcoat because we'll win. Why is he stop wearing it? Yeah, yeah. That's the mad thing of how confident we were for that Wolves game that we said. I said three 0 You said four 0 and we said if it's going to be three 0 we're going to buy waistcoats. To the next home fixture. Yeah. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. No. I got my Chelsea tickets for um the Carabao Cup today. Oh yeah? Yeah, I was quite surprised because it said that I needed a certain amount of away games. I thought I definitely haven't got those. So if anyone's waiting to buy 
Chelsea tickets because they're not sure how many away get. Just go and have a look now because I'm pretty sure I didn't have that many away fixtures um, purchased between last season. So no, de- definitely not. No. So anyway, got in nice and early. Woo. No, they just know it's you. Know they? they see our account. And they're like, "Hey, it's the boys. Hello, boys." Yeah. Back you know again, what, is it on the road? Do you know what I'm hoping for in that game? What's that? Pine a pint. Everything else is a bonus. Very good pies at Chelsea. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Really good. How was really the one you had at St Mary's the other day? That was not just before I got there. Um, surprisingly similar to the one I had at Old Trafford the week before. Oh. But not as spicy. Oh, that's a shame. Seven softies. What, should, you know, should have brought your own hot sauce, mate. If you don't go around with your own hot sauce, you're a mug. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's still good. It's still good. Um, but yeah, kind of interesting to see. I've not really been there early enough to have food at St. Mary's yet this season. I keep I keep getting there, keep being really thirsty, ordering a pint and being like, I can't take this up, having to neck that pint and then buying a Coke so I have a drink at the top. So yeah. it's... Uh, oh, mate, but when we go back, won't it be all renovated? Yeah. And we're going to see the new big screens. Fancy well, new big screens that might maybe work. Who knows? And are we going to see uh, a change in the law of uh, drinking on the turnstiles as well? Die. Drinking on the turnstiles. I don't mean that. Uh, Click. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Boys, yeah. you gotta get off then. Nah, spin it round, mate. Give it a spin. <laughs> yeah, the 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 call has come to review that ridiculous law. Um, which, you know, you can take a scalding hot cup of tea onto the terraces, but you can't take your beverage that you have into town quickly at half time, encouraging binge drinking. But anyway. Here's the here's the only thing though, mate. If we do are allowed to start drinking back up on the terraces, that does that mean you're gonna have to be blurring out beers left and right for the YouTube because you can't be having a kiddie see us drinking beers. I imagine it will be in a nondescript plastic cup. And I'll just say it's apple juice. No, I mean the way that we're going to act, like, because you get feisty, mate. You you get <laughs> you get feisty. I've t- I've seen Mike take swings at some Millwall fans, and it's absolutely nuts. They're scared of him. They're scared of him in the ends. They really are. We go to the swings, the slides, all of it. Yeah, absolutely. I just think it's a silly rule, and I'm so fed I. up of it. So can't do I. Take, can't take that out. Oh, don't be silly. Can't take that out. You've got to go back down there and drink it really fast and then come back out. I was like, really? <sighs> anyway, I, 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 I think that's another show entirely, if I'm honest. But um, <laughs> it's probably not safe for this channel. But uh, no, maybe it is. It is. That's ridiculous. There we go. Uh, Ryan's jumped in. Good evening. Oh, Ryan, yeah, you're late. You're late. What, what are you doing? It's a, the the thing with our Wednesday night shows is that we never really know what time we're going to be doing it, and I just text eight o'clock. Yeah, right. Yeah, that'll do. Consistency, that'll do. consistency. That's what we. That's what we're about. Well, it's nice now that when we do Wednesday shows, we want to have all day to think about it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll have all day to just sit and ponder. What do I think about Southampton? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Tom saying surprise the media chaps not approach yet. Uh, it's all in the description. Get in contact. Let us know. Still waiting for that five guys sponsor. Well, the fact that you know Tom Deacon's playing the Blue and Winnie Gate now surely means that. Yeah, you know, we didn't I, know about that either. Couldn't believe it, that. Yeah, yeah should, should have messaged him. But you know, I, you know, I've not seen Tom pitch side for a while. It's always Kenzie nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And let's be honest. Who would you rather spend your time looking at, Kenzie Benali, or beautiful, <laughs> or this? I don't sorry, want to sorry, answer the on. question. Or this. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, no contest, is it? Oh. Kenzie all day long. Absolutely. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we're coming here. Put Mike and check up front. We'll be fine. You really won't. Do you, you want to know something? You have a um, hamstring injury pretty quick on that one. In, uh, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, the, the plan is that we're playing football golf in a couple of weeks. And I'm so afraid that I'm going to pull my groin. Uh, I think we go. We go down to Cardiff, I do believe. Oh, I so want to do that. Uh, but every time, every, every time I think about it, I think it, if the if the hole is more than fifty yards, I'm going to pull a groin. 
No, nah, you're gonna love it. No, nah, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull a groin. They're gonna have to give me like a like a floaty, like inflatable, like cheap plastic ball because I, it just happens now. Can't yeah. take, no, no more goal kicks for this guy. <laughs> uh, Ryan said had a five aside, lost seven one. Feel like I'm seven to me. <laughs> hey, calm down, mate. You're not that bad. It's not wrong. It's pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Oh dear. Oh, there's, there's one here. Decent one just outside Manford football. I'm going to research that because I really want to play, play a game with so it. So are you saying that there's going to be a special Match Day Vlogs football golf episode? <sighs> yes. Because yep. that could definitely be a thing. That can that can be a that could be a thing that we do. That could be definitely a thing. Um anyway, we should jump back on the topic because there's been a couple of extra questions jump in here. Um Sam, we're gonna come to your question in a minute um so hang on there hang on a minute james will perhaps suspended must mean diallo starting which means one goal for the printed shit oh dear. it's coming it is coming you so you should have to be fair mate you're you're so lucky i haven't demanded you to get it anyway because you really honestly should have you should have gotten it done after the sheffield game like you like you should have done it okay but it was an open play though i was thinking he put the ball in then twice, and, it, and, and each time changed a little counter in the corner of my TV screen. So therefore, yeah, I'm sure I said twice. it for the West Ham game anyway. Not for I'm the pretty sure you game. didn't. I'm pretty sure we said uh, during the United you know, game, if he scores a brace while you're down there, you've got to get it. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, dear me. And I want it on the I want it on the black shirt as well because I know you like that black shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might look better on the yellow. I can like the yellow one actually. It's a nice one. Yeah. I think you should get it on both. Yeah. Uh, if he if he scores a brace against Leeds this weekend, the next weekend, you got to do it. You got to get it on both. Done. 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 I cannot wait. I cannot <laughs> wait for Diallo to get a brace <laughs> against Leeds. I want it so oh, bad. It's not happening. It's so bad. It's I'm going to message him. Ever scored. Abraham, ever scored. come. On. And yes, yeah, Brian did actually tell me that. In fact, I remember him texting me quite a few times when I got back to my hotel. He's saying, You scored two goals, you know? I was like, Yeah, okay, okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, another comment here from Jenny. So when I saw that uh, Milner uh, should have gone with that red against City, yeah, that was a mad one, absolute mad one. Um, and I'm going to end it because we've been chatting for a long time on this. Uh, at what stage? Is Ralph in danger of his job if we continue not winning? Jack, do you see a scenario where we get past the next two league games and we don't get a win? Do you think it's then? Yeah. I um, do. Ooh. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Atkins. Okay. Where we're at a point in the season where you're like, it's not going too badly, and we trust his system and we trust everything about him. Mm -hmm. But if it's not going the right way, it's better to get it done sooner than it is later. Yeah. And the only, the only, my only thing about it is, is like, who do you bring in? And it, I just don't want Eddie Howe. Really, you don't want Eddie Howe at all. I don't want Eddie Howe. No. I don't, even if it does end up being good, which, you know, maybe it could be, but I just see what he did at Bournemouth. I'm like... But do you think... I, do, I look at what he did at Bournemouth and think, what extra resources will he have here that he didn't have at Bournemouth? I know it's a better crop of players. and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, but, that's exactly my point. I think he's got... I think Southampton have got a better group of players than Bournemouth had back then. Yeah, yeah but like they, they did invest in that squad whilst he was there. Hmm. And okay, you know, it's still, still, they're still a level apart, but you know, I, I just don't think he, he, he's any, he's, I'm not saying any different. It's, it, you know, it, it Ralph's better. <laughs> Ralph's better than, 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 than Eddie Howe. Yeah, yeah. I don't disagree with you. I just think the, but also I think the, the run of games where, okay, it's four wins in 2021. You know, you rolled a clock back. There was, I'm not sure how many of those were home wins, but I think we, was it 2019 or something like that, where we, or 2018, where we hadn't won a home game 
for something like 14 months or something ridiculous or something like that. Yeah, so but, did, not... but didn't that end after we changed the manager? It did. Yes, it did. Yeah. That's where, like, I, I asked why I hate to say it, but that's that's where we were. With, it, was, it was Pellegrini to Hughes, wasn't it? Mm. Like, that, I, it, it, the difference. That was a car crash. That was ridiculous. The, the, the difference being, we like Ralph, and there is there is a progression there. Yeah, it's just that you know, it's almost like it's not not really, but it kind of is. It's a bit like when you look at Ollie at United. It's like, yeah, you like him, and mm. if you're a United fan, you get it. You're like he he's steady the ship, but he's made it a better place to be. But is he the man for the job? Yeah, and not saying you know Ralph's Ralph's definitely the man for the job, but is there's there seems to be something not not right. I don't think Ralph's got enough alongside him. I don't think he's got no. the coaching staff he needs to implement what he's trying to achieve. And and I just think that that's lacking. But I think when you look at the run of results, you have to take into consideration the end of last season, which was absolutely horrendous. I mean, literally from mid-Jan to now, it's been abysmal in yeah. terms of um, you know the win rate and the... Uh, and, and the fixtures that we've had, and you look at the results to where, where we have got a win, you think like, well, yeah, should have got a win there. Um, and just the way we've lost certain games has just been pretty bad. I kind of think there's, it might also get to the point where it's just that hocus pocus of football of this is what you get for crying af- af- on the pitch. Like, I don't want <laughs> it. I don't. I loved it. I thought it was I've made, made me love him even more. But now I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. It. Yeah. it, it he has. He, he's been cursed. But yeah, I. I, I don't know if you read the. Um, Athletic article with Danny Raw Raw mm-hmm. this week with uh, yeah. um you know just terms of what we're talking about his time at Southampton and you know what it was like and how he misses it and what the big decisions it was and you read it go and you look at where he's gone and what he's done gone on to do with Bayern Munich and now got a role in the Germany to Germany setup you're like oh maybe Ralph really misses that yeah. that that extra man really misses that coach and as much as you know as much as we love you know. Kevin Catwin Davis, as much as we love him, is he, you know, is he the best coach? <laughs> mm. You know, does, does that need to be looked at? Does the team need to be looked at? Yeah, you got to think about that sort of stuff. Because, you, you know, at the same time, you look at the the, the, the B team as well now, it's like, that's a mm. lot, that's a lot of things for Ralph to take in and do. And, and, you know, it's all on his playbooks. So you need, you need that other man. You need that other guy. And I just don't know if he's got that right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm saying could lose both. Don't think it'll go two nine nils. Uh, performance have not been bad on the whole. It will turn keep the face. Yeah, I mean, it's it's mad to think you've got a manager in a position where he has done that on two occasions. Um, the second one I think was a little harsh in the circumstances, but there are ways you can stop that. But the draws we've had recently, you know, we shut out Man City. You know, unfortunately we couldn't hold on with a 10-man squad against Chelsea at the weekend. But, you know, we're improved on the defensive side, arguably. Don't get me wrong, mate. The way it, it, on the other side of it is, in reality, the only game we should have won was Wolves. Mm. Rest of them, rest of them, we all thought we were going to lose them anyway. So, in reality, it's not a bad place to be. We need to, but it's these next few games that we need to get go through. And there's something about Southampton under pressure and these sort of clutch games when it doesn't matter, but it does matter. Yeah that we seem to just lack a little bit. So we just need to get through it, mate. These next few weeks are going to be so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Leeds is going to be fun. Leeds. It's going to be fun. The only, the, the biggest upside to Leeds is that we will not be sat behind the goal. So Patrick Bamford won't be mugging us off this season. So Yeah, but if he does get something, he's going to have a very noisy entourage um, at that end this time. Um, quick shout out to Graham Potter. My goodness. A Brighton. Doing a fantastic yeah. job. Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's for, just wanted to say it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is it? It was in the chat session. Just give it, a, give it a big Sam. Nope, nope. That that has to be a joke. Um, it, it's contradicting things here. Don't understand the session with, with how. And we've got Ethan saying would love Eddie Howe. So it's definitely a split there. Uh, Ryan's going to Lampard for me. If anyone could be an interesting one. I think he's an unproven. Um... The way Lampard, you know, promised that you know, when he was at Chelsea, wanted to work with the youth squad, 
there's mm. a lot of that you that you that I take in and you like, but then obviously it's kind of hard to, to gauge, isn't it? Because <laughs> did great at Derby. Did great at Derby. And everything he says he would want to do at Chelsea, it was going to work, but that just that system doesn't work for Chelsea, so it looked like it fell apart. So you know, I yeah. wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against the big man. Yeah, uh, I'm presuming this is a joke. Yep, Tony Verse. Yep. <laughs> uh, Adrian, know to how yeah, it's only there because he wants a local club. Raph is far better. A win will come soon. Absolutely. Um, I think if if we get a couple wins of the next two games, this is all forgotten about. Yeah. Um, I resist from saying Ralph out more because I like him as a person and his tactics are great. As I said, we have seen some great football. Um, it's just the end products in the final third. We just need to make that click and um, we'd be saying something different. Yep. Uh, Ralph cannot be sat. The system is set up perfectly and things will turn eventually. Good bit of positivity that's, there. That's the thing. It's the system that I worry about because I love the system that's in place of the way the club actually functions and runs. It's just... <laughs> Just getting the output. <laughs> mm, yeah. Getting the goals. Getting the goals. Yep. Um, I feel like Ralph couldn't take us any further. We've reached the limit. Mm. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I think, you know, we were... Remember that season where we came out and we're thinking, God, we can challenge for European football here. And we had great momentum and everyone was just chatting, waxing lyrical about us. But now it just seems to be, oh, they're under threat again. Um... Coming from Ryan as well, we have so many inconsistent performers in our team. Amen to that. Yeah, we really do. Um, I think we were lucky. We had such a good start to, uh, of last season. Saved us. Start last season saved us. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> not not discriminating that, as I've forgotten how to read and uh, struggled all my way through that. But no, totally agree with that, Jenny. Um. Ethan Ling said, don't think the wingers are good enough. Uh, on both occasions, the players must take a huge slice of blame. Yes. Um, yep. I agree with that as well. So, there we go. There we go. Do you know what? I, you know, with, with the players, you know, like, we, I looked at I looked at, Bert, looked at how good Bertrand was for us and could we get more out of it? And now I see him going and I see what Peru does and I think, I think this is an improvement. Mm. And then I look at Redmond and I think... An could improvement... We get- Huh? And uh, I look at Redmond. <laughs> Shout out. Oh, I get my cape. Yeah. <laughs> I look at Redmond, I think, yeah, he's been good for us, but is he good enough? And I just think, is there Redmond. better options up there? Yeah. Like, mm. what, for, the, for the money that you probably get for Redmond, what could you get in? Fine. Um, and that's the thing. Like, it doesn't, it, it, Redmond's really well when we play at Sheffield. He played really well when we played against Bournemouth. He played really well when we played against Newport. Mm. He'd probably play really well against Norwich because I feel like that's his level. Yeah. And as much as it pains me to say, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So I just feel like a part of me just makes me think there's certain players and it, it, the squad needs an overhaul. And when you look at Livramento and how well he's been playing, Salasu, how well he's been playing, all the newer players are looking like the ones that you're like, you're excited about. And you just think it's you know, just yeah, just okay. a big. Well, yeah, well, yeah. But, hey, you can't say we're not excited about him. The gorilla, like, yeah, even absolutely. after that first performance, I can't wait to see it. He's going to get a red card his first game. It's going to be wicked. It's not going <laughs> to. It's going to be In such a painful. Yeah, he's going to be like prem. Danny Osvaldo. He's going to come and play one game and then leave, but not because he wants. He's given up on football because football's given up on him. They're like we can't have that. That is yeah. unri- like no, no. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's all just a bit too much. All just a bit too much. Um, yes. So, yeah. So, yeah. It annoys me we don't play Peru. Yeah, same here. We need the in Peru. No, I won't do it. I won't do it a second time. I'll upset you the first time. I won't do it a second time. I've just seen our um, subscriber counts gone down after you attempted it a second time. That's Today, yeah. yeah. That would be justified. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd totally accept that blame. I'm sorry. We've been blocked from so Instagram. Sorry. Um <laughs> Come on, mate. Well, we lost Instagram, TikTok's down. It's all going wrong. Yeah, absolutely. I've been told that the Facebook crash was a preemptive strike against that joke. That's, that's <laughs> Zuckerberg's yeah, message us. The out of focus moment. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh coming in from Dexter, we just need new owners desperately. I'm a, I don't know. 
I don't know. We I just need, think we need new investors. That's, it, it, we're yes. we're not like that. We need new. You don't say we need new owners. We need new investors because I feel like Gal will be part of it for a while. Even at smaller percentage, he still I think might be into it. But he wants to leave. It's you know they're just looking for new investments and new investments club and different ways to get money in. So hundred percent agree. The, that's where we're at. You know that Martin Simmons, those guys all do a wicked job. Mm-hmm. It's just the money that they get given, and yep. yeah, you know you can you could be angry at, at, at down the way he runs things, but he's been pretty open. They've all been pretty open about how he you know what's going on. He was he he, he bought it when the Chinese investments in the Premier League were up, then the Premier yep. League banned Chinese investments. Like, <laughs> Maybe yeah, okay, we don't want to do things. that. And yeah. I feel think I think considering all of that. I think he's fine. He he gives what he gives. Yeah, we, you know, we, we just we they're openly looking for it. Like I think it was I think it was the last fan forum. I think Martin Simmons says, you know, if we wanted new owners, we could get them tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But it's finding the right investors and right owners. All those ones that we've seen in the press are not people that you want. That American that was at was it Monaco? Was it or was it Lille that he was at? You know, he they he, he left the class. He left the club worse than when he found it. Every that seems to be a thing every time. So. Yeah. yeah, different ways around it. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, you're absolutely right, Jack. I think it's about finding the, the right investors because effectively, Jao's pretty silent um, and he lets Martin Siemens get on with running the club. And the last two transfer windows, we've got to say, we've been pretty happy with them, haven't we? And in yeah. terms of, you know, the, the players that we've been able to get money for, I um, mean, effectively, what, Vesta Gardenings? You know, two players with one year left on the contract, we get 50 million quid. That's decent business. That's yep. a decent running of the club. And I think it's it's exactly that kind of thing that we need the right investors to come in. Um, but, you know. I think the big, the only thing, the only thing that you'll see change, if we got bit better investors, is that we would pick up more of the... It, it would hit, I don't think that the, the thing it would change from buying young players. We would still be, would have been looking at buying Livermento. They probably would have just less less negotiating with it. We probably we probably would have gotten Brend, Brandon Williams. And mm. looking at it now, what would you rather have, Brandon Williams or? Oh yeah, it's, that's an obvious answer. You know, well, now, at... now we know how good Livermento is. We we didn't know about then, did we? So... Exactly, exactly. So, but 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 those but the guys at the club did. Yeah, absolutely. So. That's good. Give a quick shout out to Ethan here joining us in the membership details of how to become a member of the channel rolling along the bottom of the screen there basic gains you access to behind the scenes on these sort of live shows we will rerun uh, opportunities to join the live stream and give your views and it also gives you a few little extra emojis and um, helps us keep the channel going and uh, pay for this expensive keystone light so thank you for the support of the channel really do appreciate that thank you there we go. There we go. And then he gets these little little marks. I'm using my mouse cursor; they can't see, but you get a little kind of badge. Um, we become a member. Rock and roll. Uh, don't see Joe leaving for a long time. I think you know it's just a case of it will be him until they find someone else. But even when they find someone else, I feel like it will be him and it will be somebody else and Gal. At least for a little while until things move around. You know, I, I, I agree. I think he'll be. I think we'll see him for a while. Yeah. Hey, yeah. It's, it's not. You know, it's not. It's not Rupert Lowe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheer up. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. We got a a blue half of or a blue blue fraction of Hampshire in the chat section. I did not know they got Wi-Fi. Are they Isla Portsy? He must be travelling. <laughs> I got 4G shots fired. Um, dear me. the only place that makes me. South makes that the only place that makes St. Mary's look like it's got like, like it's got good Wi Fi. Crazy, crazy. That's so rad. Uh, coming from Mark, if Mr. Chow sent any money out of China, the CCP would put him in jail. Ooh. I did read something about that. There we go. Yeah. Anyhow, we have been chatting for a long, long time. Uh, and we started off talking about the privacy subject. Um, I think uh, Stuart Armstrong is going to come into frame and become our blonde haired master in midfield. And Jack is going for a Diallo because he just wants to see me get Diallo on the back of my shirt, basically. 
it, it is Wednesday. Are we doing school predictions or or we do that next week? Do yeah, next week. Do next got week. Like ten days before that game. Yeah, we'll do it next week. We'll give him another shot. Super confident. <laughs> no. No, we're doing it next week. I, I've been thinking about it all day, but I still need another week to think about it. You do indeed. You do indeed. Well, thanks to everyone who's joined us here during the uh, live show and for contributing in the chat session. Always appreciated to have your thoughts on these vital subjects affecting Southampton Football Club. If you're watching us on replay, please remember to stick in your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And uh, me and Jack will be seeing you all probably in a week's time. Yeah, mate. Wednesdays. Wednesdays are for the boys. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday next week for a preview for the upcoming Leave game. But um, thanks so much for you all for joining us here, and we will see you in the next one. All right, see ya. Bye.